Strider talk here. Well, as you know, striders are one of the most counterfeited knives by the counterfeiters. And you frequently see made in China striders at a fraction of the price for 100 bucks, 80 bucks. But uh, some of the higher quality counterfeit ones do come within 200 or north of 200 dollars, which seems crazy to me that someone would knowingly pay for a counterfeit that much money. However, there are users, there are there are people who want to buy and get a good deal on a Strider. So they're looking on secondhand market in Facebook groups and on Amazon, eBay and some other platforms where they think they're getting a good deal, 300 bucks, they're buying a Strider and that at one point they discover they bought shit. And um, very disappointing, but that's what happens. Uh, what's What makes counterfeiting Striders easy is that differences when they are made from batch to batch. Sometimes the logo, the M's, my mixed rider lettering might be certain font size on a certain batch, but on other batches it might be much bigger and only say strider. So there are counterfeit ones, you look, it just says strider, but you don't know whether it's a real one or not. On these two counterfeit striders, it is easier to notice their counterfeit just because of fit and finish. Uh, it looks like it's a counterfeit of strider SMF, however, the knife is slightly shorter than the SNG model. The SMF does not share some of the characteristics that you see on this counterfeit one, and actually this one is considered, uh, these two counterfeits are considered good quality counterfeits. This actually sell between eight, 80 and 100 bucks online. Uh, on these guys, it's very easy to notice these are not the real striders. It's the uh, fit and finish, the overall workmanship, uh, how there are some gaps between the uh, hand, uh, right and left handle and frame, uh, absence of the lock bar stabilizer, flying penis logo, the flying penis logo even on two different fakes, on two different counterfeits, they are different, they do look different. I would say this one is pretty much closer, a bit close to the real deal, but the real deal flying penis logo looks uh, different than the counterfeit. The fit and finish overall workmanship you see here, the detail is just perfect, whereas on the counterfeit one, it's not. However, if you've never dealt, if you never held a strider knife in your life, and you thought you were getting a good deal, you might not knowingly buy one and think you have a real deal only to at some later point to discover it's not. Now one of these knives for example it runs half on Teflon another half phosphorus bronze or if it is phosphorus bronze I, would, I think uh, it would be interesting it's just some kind of a junk i would assume because uh, the blade seems like it's a lowest quality 440 stainless steel even though it does not have any blade markings what steel it is i assume it's just the cheapest 440c the real striders do display the, the steel blade here we have cpm 20 cv and same one here and you see how usa is just retyped here on the on the fake ones we have usa each letter has a followed by a dot however another collector mentioned to me they have an 
older version Strider, real Strider knives that has USA and Paul Boss signature spelled the same way as here, except it also has the steel blade. So once again, I'm coming uh, to the point that because of the differences in batches, how it's uh, particular year Strider knives were produced versus let's say following year, there are minor differences that made it easier for the counterfeiters to counterfeit these knives and the harder for people who think they know how to differentiate, to differentiate these ones. So if you are thinking to purchase Strider knife, make sure, uh, make sure you don't go through uh, unknown seller. If you are going to do it online, make sure your seller is US based, reputable seller who's been selling knives. I would strongly recommend going on bladeforums.com. It's a wonderful online community, everyone who loves knife, knife enthusiast, and you can find some of the greatest deals there. There are authorized dealers on eBay. There's uh, bladehq.com, monkeyedge.com, DLC Trading, and um, many other good si sites, websites that have authorized dealers. But if you come across on the secondary market and the deal is too good to be true, it probably is. So be careful when you are buying these knives.